Okay, so I've gathered all my supplies here. Uh, first and foremost, you're gonna need your tea towels. These I just get at Target. This is the Room Essentials brand. Um, they come in the like kitchenware's aisle with like your spatulas and your mason jars and all that, all that jazz. They come in like a pack of four. They're nothing fancy, um, but they'll do the trick here. I really actually prefer this brand. You're also gonna need some black HTV. I'm just using a scrap from a different project as well as iron-on transfer sheets. This package has for light and dark fabric just because I'm gonna do probably multiple image transfer projects, but for this you just need for light fabric so you could get a smaller um, packet, but I just got this at the craft store. And then you're also gonna need uh, your Cricut design space, your computer, your printer, your Cricut um, machine and then as well as your uh, easy press or an iron and then a mat to do your ironing on. So let's get printing. I've got Cricut Design Space open and I want to add both my images that I'm going to use my iron on transfer sheets for and my letters for my heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to start with my pumpkins and I'm just going to upload and I have these downloaded. I'm gonna drag and drop. This is gonna be a complex image and um, a print then cut. Even though we're not gonna use the print then cut feature, we're just gonna use the print. So here we go, it's a print then cut. Save. And then I'm gonna insert that into Okay, I want this to be significantly smaller than 10 inches wide. I'll change it to two. So it's easier to work with. So I fold my tea towels in quarters. So the max that I want my whole decal to be is five and a half to six inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some text. The two fonts that I wanna use are Castro script, which is free for personal use, and the skinny. So I'll leave that. I'm going to add another text box. One's going to say hey there, and one's going to say pumpkin. I'm going to switch this to the skinny. Kind of reminds me of like that Ray Dunn font. I'm gonna increase my letter space by just a tad, I think. And I want it to say, hey there. All right, that's a pretty good width. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, there we go. Um, oh my gosh, there we go. Okay. So I wanted to say, hey there, pumpkin. I want the pumpkin to be a little bit bigger and then I need to ungroup this so that I can move my letters together and weld them. So I want them to all be touching. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so I can make sure that I get everything. See, that might be a little bumpy, so I wanna get that in perfect place. Move this out of the way. And then I'm gonna highlight all my letters and I'm gonna weld them together so it just cuts as one smooth uh, piece of writing. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. So what it's gonna give me is it's gonna print my pumpkin on my iron-on uh, transfer sheet and then it's gonna cut black writing in uh, heat transfer vinyl. 
Now you can choose to mirror this after you go to the make it um, spot, but I tend to forget to mirror and that kind of causes me problems. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip everything horizontal right now so I don't forget to mirror my vinyl on the make it stage. And now I'm gonna just print out this pumpkin and then cut out my um, heat transfer vinyl and I'll be back. So I went ahead and I printed my iron on transfer and I've got my HTV. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out all of these. So I did the print, but I just skipped the cut on this and I went ahead and I added my second set of pumpkins and text just cause I'm gonna make two um, coordinating um, tea towels. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut all of this out. I f with uh, this iron on, it doesn't have to be exact. So I think it's just easier and faster to cut. Oh, yeah, my uh, easy press is hot and ready to go. Um, I think it's just easier to cut this out with scissors by hand and then I'm going to weave this and then I'm going to put everything onto my tea towel. One other thing real quick, um, you'll notice that I didn't, you may be wondering like why I didn't do the black lettering just all and make this all an iron on project. You'll see um, all this negative space when it's ironed on will have a little bit of sheen to it. It's almost like you can see kind of like a plasticky film over, over the tea towel. And so I didn't want an, any negative space other than just around my pumpkins. Uh, which of course like this doesn't have to be very exact um, to get to get this transferred on so that's why I'm using a combination of heat transfer vinyl and and the iron on okay so I've got my easy press and my mat and then I'm gonna grab my tea towel here I always do my iron on in the bottom right hand corner just because it makes it easier to fold my towels I just fold them in quarters and then you can just see you know what design is on on that towel so I'm gonna give I'm trying to find the corner that is already like naturally the smoothest there we go and then I'm gonna give this a quick iron with my easy press. You could just as easily use um, like your regular iron, but because I have my easy press out and it's got the timer, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Okay, there we go, now I'm ready to go. Now you wanna do your uh, iron on image transfer first because that's going to take significantly longer to do than your heat transfer vinyl. Um, so I'm just going to kind of place this where I think I want it to go. And then I've also got my letters, which I'm going to just. Okay, so that's going to look pretty good just like that. You want to be sure to check just the manufacturer's instructions. I know for like light color fabric, you do image down. For dark color fabric, um, transfer sheets, you do image up. So just make sure you read carefully the package um, of your iron-on decals. I'm going to change the time setting on this to like 60 seconds because it's going to take a while. To fully transfer the image. So I'm going to give this 60 seconds. I'm going to put down my protector sheet that came with my, my sheets. I'm going to give this 60 seconds and see, see where we're at because we want that image to fully transfer over. Okay. 
All right, so we've got 60 seconds under our belt. We're gonna give this a quick check. See where we're at. These the instructions on this also said that you're supposed to remove it when it's warm, so just be sure to double check that. We're kind of there, but not quite. I'm gonna give it probably another full minute just to really try to seal down that, that transfer. I'm gonna just give pretty firm, even pressure just because this towel does have a little bit of texture to it, so I wanna to try to get that ink ironed all the way into, into the towel. Okay, let's see where we're at. give it it's not really changing all that much so I'm just gonna give it one more minute and then I'll add my heat transfer vinyl to it okay so now I've done three solid minutes I don't think this is gonna get any better and I'm so I'm just gonna now switch my timer from 60 seconds down to 15 because that's what is required for my heat transfer vinyl And then I'm gonna leave this paper on and now I'm gonna place my letters and it doesn't really matter if the clear backing of your letters overlaps um, the backing of your iron on. All that matters is that the black letters don't overlap. Okay. So I'm just gonna place this where I think it looks nice. I'm gonna cover this up and then I'm gonna give it 15 seconds to secure my heat transfer vinyl. There we go. Now let's see if this is ready to come. Oh yeah, it peels right off. Thankful. And then the moment of truth of my pumpkins. Oh, I think that looks pretty good. There we go. So I've got a fall tea towel ready, ready to go. I'm gonna make my other one repeat this process on the other towel. And there you have it. Some fresh fall decor for my kitchen. And now you can see if I fold my tea towel into to quarters. That's right there. Perfect.